Hi, my name is Shane Brittany Crone. You know, one of the reasons why I um, created and posted my YouTube video was to show people that, that love is love and, you know, everyone is deserving of love. And I think that that's something that, you know, we all hope to find in our lives. And I was very fortunate enough to have found Tom and to experience the love that we had. And, you know, so now I have these incredible opportunities that I just, I never imagined would even be possible after posting the YouTube video. And it, it led to me making a documentary about our story. And I, I partnered with Linda Bloodworth Thomason, who is an amazing woman, and she's a wonderful director. And, um, you know, her mom actually passed away from AIDS. You know, so she witnessed herself the discrimination that her mother faced, even just being a straight woman in the hospital, that the pills that they were giving her mom, they would even put it in a bucket, they kicked it into the hospital room. They wouldn't even give her the pills. And, you know, that's one reason that I part with Linda, she's so passionate and she, you know, experienced what you know, millions of people are experiencing for herself and, um, you know, so she's, she knows the, the, the power in, in sharing stories. You know, I've basically lived most of my life just living in fear and constantly worrying about what people think of me and I was afraid, you know, what they're going to think of, um, you know, if I say that I'm gay. And I think that after losing Tom, it just, it really inspired me to, you know, not be afraid. Like once, once you kind of experience one of the worst things you can possibly imagine, fear loses most of its power. And I just feel like fear will no longer prevent me from being who I am or standing up for what I believe in. Bridegroom's gonna tell the story of me and Tom um, and the struggles that we faced growing up and, you know, ultimately the struggles that we faced after he passed away. Our story really represents so many people's stories that, again, they, that they've gone through the same horrible, terrible experiences. And, you know, so it's, it's in a way, yes, it is our story that we're telling, but I'm also, in a way, just representing everyone else, which um, is an honor to, to be able to do that. And that's one thing that's ironic is Tom's last name is Bridegroom, which a lot of people think that it's, you know, it's not real, but that's not really his last name because it's kind of, you know, it's too ironic. But again, it's almost one of those signs that, you know, that he is standing in for something larger than himself because what are the odds of that, that his last name is Bridegroom? We're planning on releasing the documentary, which is going to be called Bridegroom, this fall, and you can go to the website, which will be bridegroommovie.com to follow the progress. The film came about because we started a fundraiser on kickstarter.com, which is a crowdfunding site and over 6,000 people pledged to make this movie. So it's, it's pretty incredible. Again, it just shows the power of what people can do when they come together and there's a message that they all believe in. Um, you know, so I'm just so honored to have this opportunity to make this movie. I just hope that, that people can, can see that it feels good to stand up. It feels good to be proud of who you are. And I, I just, for the first time in my life, I'm, I'm proud to be gay. It's a pretty, remarkable thing. The LGBT community is not asking for special rights, they're just asking for the same rights. And, you know, that would include marriage equality. You know, people don't even realize that when they, when they like, just call it like gay marriage or same-sex marriage, you know, really it's, it's not a, a different type of marriage. Like, marriage is marriage. I was talking to my family that, you know, they're saying, well, you can get married in certain states, so what happens if you just move there? And, um, you know, it's not that simple because you can get married in California, you can get married in New York, but until it's recognized on a federal level, then, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. Because there are literally, there's over a thousand rights that come along with federal marriage, as opposed to just, you know, state marriage. LGBT couples shouldn't have to carry documents all around the states, wherever they're traveling, just in case something happens. Like literally, you could be married in California, you can travel to, you know, Utah, and heaven forbid like a horrible accident happens to your partner, you can go to the hospital and they can actually refuse your right to, to visit them in the hospital because they're, they don't acknowledge your marriage in the state where you're from. You know, I hope that people realize that it's, it's not just a word that, you know, for, asking for it.
or looking to change yet. We're not looking to change the word marriage. We're just looking to have the protections that come along with marriage. Yeah, I mean, you you cannot pray the gay away. I've tried for years, praying and night after night, and just, you know, if, if you could pray the gay away, then I wouldn't be gay. It doesn't work. You know, to me, that's why it's so important to support organizations like the Human Rights Campaign, like GLAAD, that, you know, they're out there to help protect us and to to clarify a lot of the statistics to make sure that people are educated and aware of the actual reality of you know, our community. It just boggles my mind when people say that being gay is a choice because I have to tell you that I, from the beginning, ever since I can remember, I, I prayed not to be gay um, and I just, I don't believe that we would be put on this earth to have to live a life trying to fight an urge. And, you know, I, I think that for people to think that I would, you know, or anyone would choose to live a life that's, that's so hard that so many people are against you and that, you know, that they just look at you in a way that's almost like you're disgusting. So I don't, why would anyone choose that? I want to celebrate all the progress that has been made, but at the same time, I don't want to lose, you know, sight of the distance that we still have to go. And, you know, that's one of the main reasons that I think it's important for people to realize that you know, you have a voice, and I have a voice that I was always afraid to use. I didn't think that, it, you know, it, it could accomplish anything. I didn't think that I could, you know, say anything that would be effective to help the, the LGBT community. But I think that, you know, posting my YouTube video and, you know, standing up and speaking out and just sharing the story of what happened with Tom, that, you know, it's, it's a reminder that we all have stories and. You know, for people to really understand what it is that you know that we go through, what we have gone through, they need to hear your stories. And I'm, I truly believe that in order to change people's hearts and minds on this extremely important issue of human rights, is is to just share your stories so they can you know understand and you, know, you can like humanize it for them. I saw a bumper sticker where it says, you know, don't don't blame gay people for being gay, blame the, the straight parents because they keep having gay babies or something like that. And thank you again to everyone in San Diego for making me feel like family. Uh, I had an incredible time at the Nikki Awards and I appreciate everything that your community is doing to, to help all of the LGBT community throughout the entire state. So thank you and be sure to check out bridegroommovie.com um, to, to follow the progress of the movie and you can follow me on Twitter at twitter forward slash Shane Bitney. Um, I would love to hear from you guys and, and hear your stories. Thank you. Thank you.